I look like an auntie here. I am an auntie. Hey kids, call me auntie. Back on track. Hi, good evening, because that's what it is right now. Welcome to week three. Um, I don't have much to say beforehand. <laughs> so let's just jump right in. Why am I even doing an intro? Is there a point to having an intro if I don't really have anything to say and I'm just saving it for the end bit? Probably not, but let's roll the week. So I know that you have definitely taken note of the date uh, and probably looked down at the timestamps in the down there square and saw that this is not day 13 that I am starting on, which I should be considering I ended on day 12. I know I said I wasn't going to count anymore and I'm not, I'm not going to say the days anymore. Look, just hear me out. I told you at the end of my last video that I am a grown woman with a 40 hour job and lots of responsibilities. And I told you in my first Narwhal vlog that, what did I tell you in my first Narwhal vlog? That Sundays are work days. So I've been working since forever. Uh, honestly, I had a lot of personal stuff come up that uh, I needed to handle, not needed to handle, but I needed to be present for and also work things that I need just, I've been, I've been overwhelmed with a lot of things that I've had to do. I have been writing. I just haven't had the time to sit down and talk through what I have been doing. So this is the first talking head that you're getting. I've gotten a couple of clips of me writing for all the days but today, but I promise you I have written. And honestly, this can be considered a boon because my last video was far too long. I don't feel like putting up 30 plus minute videos is my lane right now. These don't need to be that long, but last week was a lot. So um, this might be better for the vlog in general, especially considering I'm still gonna have to figure out what I can talk to you about with this and what I can't. You know what I can talk to you about right now? The notebook, yes. This beautiful chic baby. I've been waiting forever to use this. I bought this after I finished my last novel because my last novel was written in this beat up junker. I love it so much. Got me through everything. I have probably all but like seven chapters of my previous novel written down in this. And when I tell you college rule notebooks, why would they make anything with bigger lines? I mean, except for the things that you use when you learn how to write and the lines are like this big because your letters are like that big. Fine, that's cool. But once you start learning how to write, college rule, give me the tiny pages. I mean lines. So this is what my last novel was written in. This and one other that combined to make almost the whole thing of this. But when I realized that this was the best way to write my novel, I'm not gonna explain that again. I was like, I need a bigger book, therefore. But yeah, I am writing. You may be wondering why I only write on one side of the page. And that is for a reason. That only makes sense to me. There's no need for me to explain it. Moving on. So what can I tell you about what I've been writing thus far for the last three days? Well, I can tell you, I am in the middle of a very long scene with lots of characters talking about stuff that is somewhat important and um, setting up a lot of things. But even as I'm writing it, the, the reason it's getting taking me a little bit longer to get through it is because I already know like four of these characters are getting cut and lines are gonna be distributed to about like two or three remaining characters because these people who I'm writing about right now don't matter. They're only gonna be here for a couple of chapters. It doesn't mean they're not important. I'm sure they're doing other things in their stories, but this story isn't about them and they are about to be moved along pretty quickly. So I know when I go back and edit, this whole scene is gonna look really different and the people talking are gonna look different. I realize I always have like my water bottle just in frame. Like this is a straw. I can move it out of frame. 
No, I want it there now. What was I saying? So I'm already really aware that these characters in this whole scene is gonna be looking different, but that's the beauty about writing it in a notebook for me. Like, because I can't just go back and erase everything and start over. I mean, I could, but I'm writing in pen. So what ends up happening is I know that this is gonna change, but let's see where this conversation could go. And in doing that, it helps me to set up other things like, oh, that would make sense. Like if this happened, then then um, I could introduce this character or this is the tie in for this plot point. I know I'm still talking in very obscure terms. I'm sorry, but it basically allows me to do a good job. So I'm trying to get out of this conversation. It's just taking a little bit because cutting it where it is would be very jarring. Uh, and even if I'm not gonna keep it in, I need this story to make sense. So, you know, it's moments like this where I wonder if doing this as a vlog is even a good idea because it's not like I'm telling you anything. I should give you writing tips, but what tips could I give? Giving tips means like I know what I'm doing and obviously I don't. So anyway, eight minutes. What else have I said? Regardless, it's a little bit of a bummer that um, I'm doing all this writing knowing that it's gonna get cut. It opens a door for me to be able to introduce the antagonist more subtly than I had first thought possible. And it just helps me build the realism of the world. So it's going good, um, even if it feels like it's not. Even if it sounds like it's not. That being said, I think for the next two days, I'm not gonna work on this novel. What I'm going to do is work on a piece that I am hoping to get up at the end of the month as a story video. I was talking to a friend. No, I wasn't. I was talking to my sister, who is also a friend, but I just wanna get the title right. And wait, was I? No, I was talking to my... <laughs> I was talking to my cousin. She's not my cousin, she's my best friend. I just call her cousin. and. In deference to my mother still demanding that I put up videos that have an end, what I want to move to try to do, we'll see. I'm saying this now, knowing that this will go, go up before I am possibly done with the other thing that I'm trying to do. I want to write a full story, but the problem is, okay, so the videos that are up on my channel already that uh, are story-based videos, all of them are a minimum of like, two pages, maybe three. The longer ones are like three pages long and they come out to like four to eight minutes. I think I have a nine minute video up or something. And this happens because reading out loud takes longer and reading in a way that makes sense with the story makes something longer. <clears throat> so to have a full complete story, I personally need it to be between 10 and 20 pages. That would make for like an hour long video, mother, an hour long video. I don't think you're even sitting through these 25 and 35 minute videos, let's be honest. But I really like the idea of making something that's complete. To do that, what I'm going to do is write a story in a more complete form, and it's probably gonna be again, between 10 and 20 pages and then split those into videos, like three parts, four parts, whatever, but not release one part a month, rather release them one once a day for the at the end of the month. So if I write this thing that I'm gonna be working on tomorrow and it turns out to be a four parter with the intention of having the last video be up on the 30 days of September, April, June, and November, the 30th of November. <laughs> Why would I know that off the top of my head? So yeah, so I think that that is what I'm gonna move to um, because I can't do both. I have too many things going on in my life. We just restarted up our book club and I also need to read about 150 pages before this Sunday and it's Tuesday and I'm writing a novel and I need to write the story for the video that needs to go up and then also make a video for it. Something's gotta give. We will not be writing the novel for the next couple of days, but we will still be writing. Stop touching the mic. And I think that's good enough for you because it's good enough for me. Are we good? I think we're good, homie.
Mm, this was a good talk. This has been 14 minutes long. But uh, that's all for day 13, 14, 15. That's all for today. And I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to record tomorrow. Um, yeah. Okay. See ya. First things first, if you have nothing nice to say, you're just jealous. Obviously, I am not recording in my normal corner where the hunting is a lot less aggravating. But it's kind of a, I'm having kind of not a wonderful day. I'm kind of sad, so I don't really want to move out of this comfy corner. I really didn't want to record either, but obviously I've done very little recording all week. But I can talk about what I've been able to do today. Uh, so like I said yesterday, I'm not working on my novel today and definitely not tomorrow, probably not Friday. Are we already that far into the week? We, we are. But instead I'm working on the story that I'm hopefully going to put up on the last couple of days of this month as a story video. I had mentioned that I was going to be revising something that I had started writing at the beginning of the year, uh, which was technically a part two of a video that I already have up called Sleight of Hand. Don't go looking for it. It's not a good video. I mean, you can look for it. I'm not going to stop you from looking for it, but I certainly am not linking it to this video. I'm pretty much just like rehauling all of it. How unlotioned am I? Blur this out. I fixed it. You'll notice that on my channel, I don't have a lot of like sequel pieces. And that's specifically because if I don't write everything all together, much like we talked about in last week's video, if I don't have everything written out, it's not gonna be a cohesive story. So I've been working on uh, the story that I'm gonna be putting up, hopefully at the end of this month, as I talked about yesterday in the last portion you just watched. Um, also, I don't mind giving you details about this because it's not part of a big novel piece and it should be up a couple, like a week <laughs> after this is up. So whatever. So what sleight of hand was, was a really weird one-off. Well, it was a really weird one-off where a girl goes and meets a person that she um, found on Craigslist just because his wanted ad, are they called wanted ads on Craigslist? Listings, listings, thank you. Uh, because the listing was really interesting and she went to go check it out and it just kind of ended there. I had intentions for it to not end there, but because at the time that I put sleight of hand up, I needed to put something up so I didn't explore the story more, which is why it just kind of ends weirdly. So now I'm exploring the story more. I am reusing quite a bit of that original story, but I'm placing it somewhere in the middle of this longer piece. I think this will be very interesting. Well, I'm planning to keep sleight of hand up regardless of the fact that I am reusing it. And that might be an interesting parallel, I guess, or way to see how my writing, why did I, air quote writing. My writing style, I mean, none of them needed to be air quoted. My writing style um, evolves. So look forward to that, hopefully, because hopefully it'll be done because it needs to be done. <sighs> I've gotten a good amount of stuff done. Like I said, it's about five or five or six pages. Okay, it's like five pages with a line on page six at the moment. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. I, like I said at the beginning of this, I'm not really feeling uh, wonderful today but I like where this is going. Um, if I've got five pages now, hopefully I can do another five or six tomorrow and then be done with this and cap it out at 11 or 12 page story um, and then heavily edit it and then trick my husband into doing voice acting on it. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so that's day whatever we're on right now. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, bye. I'll be honest, I have no idea what I actually look like because the camera is very far and I've been sitting like this for most of the day, so. Oh well, I'm sorry me who's editing, who's going to regret this possibly. Still on my computer, uh, trying to finish the, oh my gosh, hi. Da -da 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 -da. Homie, this is a mess. Am I regretting?
that I said I would uh, put things up at the end of the month. Even though this hasn't gone out yet, I could just cut that and pretend that never happened. That's something my husband told me to do. Like, I'm the only one holding myself hostage to this, but I'm gonna get it done. And I'm gonna like what I got done. Yesterday was on page, what, five or six? I am currently on page 12. Am I done? No, I'm not. I'm so sad about this. Okay, so because this isn't for my novel and I have every intention of putting this up next week, <laughs> come high water or hell, I uh, don't care that I will tell you what it's about. So I still don't have a name for it yet. Uh, my husband's gonna read it over and then he'll help me with a name, maybe. Anyway, so what I'm writing about is a game. So the character gets pulled into the... <sighs> If you go back and watch Sleight of Hand, which again, don't do it, it's not good. At least wait until this comes out, the one I'm working on right now, so then you can have something that is better. Anyway, in Sleight of Hand, the, main, the character goes and meets somebody that she was contacting off of a Craigslist listing. Don't do that, kids and um what it has evolved into is basically the listing was kind of a one-off promotion for a game that um a group of people were running and she stumbles into it so she joins it right and so there are tasks that need to be completed and uh, people are split up into teams cool whatever um i started this piece like in the middle of the game and that's the first portion of it. And then we jump back to what you see in sleight of hand for the most part, and then go backwards from there to see how we got to the first part. Then we get to the first part again, and then we continue in the story. Does that make sense? It'll make sense when you watch this. But the problem is trying to get them to the finish line is taking so much time. <sighs> Legit. Seven of these pages are just trying to get them to the finish line. Like everything has been established. Let's get you to the finish line. Cool. The problem that I'm really facing as I'm writing this is, are they going to win the game or are they going to lose the game? Because if they lose the game, that's where the story can end. I can be done. I can split it up into parts and start making the uh, aspects for the video that are going to go up next week. Cool. That's great, but is that unsatisfying? My husband says, yes. <laughs> he hasn't read the end yet. I haven't gotten to the end. That might not be the end. If they win and continue on to the finals, does that then mean I have to keep going and write through the finals? Because if that's the case, this is gonna be quite long. I don't wanna be held hostage by myself anymore. Uh, as it is right now, I think I need two or three more scenes to get them to the finish line. And from there, I will decide if they win or not. And if they win, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do from there, honestly. So <laughs> this has been my day. I've been, well, not my day, portion of my day um, because I've obviously done a lot of other stuff. Maybe you can't tell because of how I'm sitting right now, but I have been doing other stuff. I'm just exhausted by having had to pour myself into new characters and give them character. It's 12 pages, like what, what even is that? At that point, at this point, it's like four videos? That's four videos. I don't want this to be more than four videos. Like, no. If I have to do it five, that means the first video has to go up Thursday, next Thursday, literally a week from today. Do you know how stressful that is? <sighs> tired, y'all. I'm tired. Regardless, tonight I finish this. Tonight will be the end as of where it is, and then tomorrow I will go through and clean it up, edit the whole thing so that it is one cohesive piece. That's the plan. And then it'll be Saturday and it's my break day. It's fine. I will survive and you will be proof to it. You will see it. You will see how well I survive <laughs> or die trying. 
Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Less stressed out. Hopefully. What the freak even day is it at this point? It's like... I don't... Are we going to have a confrontation scene? <sighs> Hello, am I in a new environment? No. Okay, so like I know I said I was actually going to be done um, writing the whole first draft of it yesterday, but I wasn't. I ended on page 11 or 12. I can't remember what I said to you. And I am currently on page... 14 and that's where I'm stopping is this a satisfactory ending I don't know because I have to go back through and edit all the terribleness out of it then send it to my husband so that he can catch anything that I've missed and then get his take on whether it's a good place to stop or not but look here it's 14 pages I think it's gonna be five parts like y'all I don't know I don't know how long I just read the first part of this to my sister earlier today and it's only two pages and it took me like five minutes to get through and I was reading fast look all I'm saying is I did a lot of work and I'm just done working we're good this is this is wonderful this is wonderful where we're at so my plan for today is edit this that should be going up like Friday of next week or Thursday so look out for that for around um Hollow Thanksgiving time, write a little of my novel, which maybe you'll see. If you do, it's here. Um, and then be done for this week. We'll have to do a lot of editing. So this week has been kind of crazy. And typically I try to edit every day so that I'm not doing a whole bunch. But thus far, I've only edited one day. Well, I mean, technically it was three days because it was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm going to, I still have so many things to do today. It's fine. I'm going to write. No, I'm going to edit. I'm going to write and then I'm going to edit. That's the plan for this project. The other stuff that I have going on today is none of your concern. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow for um, my intro and outro. Bye. And that was week three. Um, I have mixed feelings about this week. I think that in general, for a writing week, it was a, it was a very productive week. I did very well this week when it came to advancing my novel and working on creative content to advance my channel and a lot of other little projects that I was able to get done. Not little projects. Most of the projects I did this week were or big projects. So I cannot say that I feel anything but uh, happy about the work that I did writing wise. Personally, this is like in the top three of worst weeks, worst months really, but we'll say worst weeks of 2020 for me personally. And 2020 has been hard personally. I honestly, I'm just like really sad. <laughs> And it's stuff that I'm not going to share uh, online. And the only reason I am sharing anything is just because this is kind of a, a marker for me more than anyone else. And this week was hard. And I want to acknowledge that, that it was a hard week. But I was still able to be creative and that helped. <laughs> so, yeah. That being said, I know that I said yesterday, Friday, because today is Saturday, um, I was planning on finishing the things that I needed to on Friday and get the final edit done so that today would be my rest day. I did not do that. I did not manage that because this week, as I said, has been a little trash and I had to finish the editing of it today. And though that's not necessarily writing, it is because when you edit stuff, especially the harsh, I was adding whole paragraphs to scenes and whole scenes to scenes. So today was not a rest day. Um, I did so many things today, honestly. I edited that in the morning. 
I edited a lot of this video because I needed it to get done and I just needed a distraction from my life. And I took notes for our podcast. We actually recorded some of our podcasts today, uh, which was a lot of fun, which is also why I'm like very low energy right now. Um, It was a really great podcast, which you will not be seeing which you will not be seeing for quite some time uh if you are even seeing it i don't think we're even gonna put the first episode up until or the first of Jan- the first week of january to be perfectly honest so even as i'm saying this there's nowhere you can find it quite yet but i'll let you know when it is ready because that'll be exciting and also like just did a lot of chores today and grocery shopping and preparing for this next week um so i'm kind of quite tired this was not restful at all so sunday is going to be my rest day (laughs) for this upcoming week i'm probably not going to write tomorrow or if i do i'm definitely not going to record it or do any talking head bits for it and we're going to push on into uh the next week because i deserve a rest after this week honestly i will say that because i have in fact finished the story for my story video it will be going up friday because it is four parts my husband did read over it was he satisfied with the ending Mm, maybe you'll find out if you're satisfied with it on the 30th because that's when the last portion of it will be uploaded i will probably start working on that tomorrow which won't that'll probably be my not resting for tomorrow i will be working on the video elements for that uh maybe i'll get some footage of that so that you can see me doing those things um but be excited or not maybe not don't have high expectations Um, but definitely click on it and watch it. It'll be a complete ish story. And, uh, I'm excited about that. Look, my energy levels are high again, (sighs) but that is all for today. Um, that's all for this week. I'm glad that you have continued to follow me on this journey and I hope it sparks some kind of creative want in you. If you have any leans towards creativity, if not, I hope it inspired some logics in you but thank you for joining me and uh i hope that you join me again next week and that you uh find the videos that i put up in the coming week exciting or likable at the very least um to my future self watching this i know some days are harder than others and sometimes it's hard to remember why you keep existing but it's important that you do and it's important to remember that it's not always like this cling to that okay kids have a good evening